Welcome back to the renovating a 1930s flat series. This is episode 4 in which a lot of things finally get done. Back at it again, painting day 1001. Um, the good news is I kind of like the look of just one layer of paint. The bad news is I already did like a trial square right here when it's like double layered. So, but then the good news is that the fireplace is going there. So now I'm just really confused as to what I should do. I'm done. I don't feel like putting the second layer on because I like this shade and I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't care. I'm a grown up. I can just do one layer of paint and no one can tell me anything. So I don't care. I bought this 19th century vanity because of an ad on Instagram. And I think it's the first time in my life I was actually glad I got an ad. No, but y'all don't understand how nicely old furniture smells. It's just, I literally opened this drawer and I was like, that's my drug. That's literally my drug. Just the smell of old wood. <laughs> anyway, here is my vanity. I still don't know where exactly it's gonna go, but it's either here or here. Here's my haul. Ignore the random scraps of uh, styrofoam, but um, basically there were those two paintings. Were like 38 pounds, which honestly, I mean, I was debating on whether or not I can afford them. Cause like, I mean, they're quite big. So I also had to send them over to Poland, but I mean, they're so cute. Uh, there is a dog. I mean, the debate was not long. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Then I got this vintage rolling pin, honestly, because it's so cute. And because the handles are such a nice color, I was like, I don't cook, but then I completely forgot about this. This was 12 pounds. Not too bad considering it's old. And I mean, the ladies are so cool. And then this, I'm gonna show this when I actually transport it to my flat and unpack it because I don't feel like unpacking it because it's gonna get messed up. So this is a surprise. <laughs> Y'all already know what it is, a. Eh? <laughs> My dad came over to help me assemble the kitchen, unfortunately because of the little space and because of the stupid heating pipes that are everywhere, there was a lot of cutting involved, like you had to cut almost every single cupboard for it to fit. Here is the sink. Now, originally I wanted the sink to be much narrower, but it turns out there isn't that many porcelain sinks available and I really wanted a porcelain one. So I got one which isn't actually that big, but there is a drying space on the left that sort of takes away some of the precious countertop space, but uh, I'll just have to live with that. At least I have a nice sink. And here is the copper tap. Then it was time to transport the tall cupboard and it was a bit of a mess. I low-key squeezed my dad into the wall by accident <laughs> but it all ended well and nobody was hurt i also documented us using another tall cupboard as a breakfast table because i just found it funny for some reason so i don't know if you're aware but these days on the internet there is a lot of sick weirdos and people that wish your devices in you the absolute worst if you don't know what security threats are waiting for you out there, here is a couple of ones that you should be aware of. Phishing links, which are links that are made to look like legit websites, but are actually not. And once you put your login and your password in, you're screwed. <laughs> or even easier than that, you can click the wrong ad and that's enough for the hackers to get your information and mess up with you. That's why it's good to browse the internet with some sort of protection and NordVPN, who is sponsoring today's video, offers just that. It can detect those traps and it can protect you from them. It will also help you if you're trying to watch a particular period drama and it's not available in your country or in your location. NordVPN will help you with that. And if you get it now following the link nordvpn.com slash Carolina, you'll get an exclusive bonus gift of one month for free. And there is a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not entirely convinced yet. Anyways, back to the video. I just carry this mattress all the way from Ikea and it's 15 kilos, so I'm signing up for my driver's license soon. <laughs> 
Because I didn't like any of the IKEA cupboard handles, I got some copper colored ones online and I installed them myself, which was a bit of a struggle because they were round, so it was difficult to make them like stay evenly on the cupboard. I bought a pan, I bought a pot, and I'm about to make me some breakfast. Hi, welcome to my cooking show. For the kitchen wall prints, I tried a method where you stick pieces of paper to the wall first to sort of determine the layout and while it did help a little bit, I ended up moving the prints around anyway, so it was more like vague guidelines. These are, as I mentioned the last time, the old cookbook covers that I found online, by the way. the built-in wardrobe it's quite messy but I started to tear up the paper because I'm really curious what's underneath I'm assuming it's like just plain wall okay good to know that the wall was originally yellow okay I know it looks awful but it's actually not mold or anything it's just like the glue from the paper has discolored the original paint that looks atrocious <laughs> it's just paint though don't worry it's just paint i peeled it all off because i decided to line the cupboard with remnants of my entry room wallpaper since the patterns weren't matching anyway so they were kind of wasted I swear to god, this wallpaper glue smells like my cat's food, I swear. <laughs> so I'm doing some investigative work here and if I am correct and if this was actually painted the color that the outside walls were, the order goes yellow, before that there was green and before that there was light blue. Which is honestly not a bad color for, the, for this room and it makes me rethink my choices, but... Another clue down here. This is what the color was when I first saw the flat, but behold, it looks like this cabinet was actually forest green. Ooh, what is that? Forest green, which is really nice. I primed it with primer and then I committed a crime of using the vibrant green paint leftovers since I was going to cover it with wallpaper anyway and I figured that paint will help the wallpaper hold better. So this is how much scraps are left now that I've lined the cupboard with the wallpaper, which is amazing! Like, that's nothing! We've got a table. <laughs> What was that sound? I am not feeling this, but because it's antique, uh, I'm gonna respect that and maybe put something on top. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Like, it's not super bad, but it also kind of clashes with the green walls. So I'm gonna leave it as it is right now because it's kind of gorgeous. It was super cheap also. It was like, how much would that be in dollars? Probably like... $50 and you can tell it was cheap because it's kind of in need of slight renovation but for now it's really good and also check out this trick voila it can also be smaller and shorter so 
there is that here's the legs they're like really cute so overall a good buy i think not a good buy a good buy <laughs> i can't speak english today so current state of things this this area is like getting spice and flavor and then there is this which is like the refrigerator cupboard and the have i showed you this is this fireplace that is 1920s it's actually forest green but you can't see and it used to run on gas but i'm i'm gonna remake it so it's like a, a bio chimney <laughs> what do we call it so it runs on this like liquid that you pour somewhere there and then here is the washing machine so not livable yet yo i ordered this doormat from amazon and i thought it's gonna be like a knockoff but it's so pretty how am i ever going to step on it it's so nice it's william morris from vna i had no idea i thought it's a ripoff 10 out of 10 would buy again i then installed a mini gallery wall in the entry room using some vintage prints and photos a disclaimer in case you question my decor choices the lady in the biggest frame is a stock photo that was in the frame when i got it and i later changed it for a 1930s ad for the living room, I found this British company that reproduces historical prints and they had some options on spoon flowers, so I got that. Some of the furniture is here. It's actually not that much, like it's just chairs, two armchairs and like a tiny cupboard. So I don't know why it feels like the whole place is filled with old <laughs> furniture. It's not that bad. All of the pieces are 1930s and apart from the armchairs, all of them are in need of renovation, which also meant they were a great deal cheaper than renovated pieces like this. The chairs are pretty messed up, but usable, <laughs> if you ask me. I was emptying out the box in which the chair came and this was inside. I'm gonna message the seller to make sure they didn't lose something, but maybe they let me keep it. <laughs> The rug is here. You guys, I am not an interior designer, but I mean, the way it matches both the sofa and the wall, 10 out of 10. I mean, well done to me. <laughs> My dad constructed a complicated system that allows for the fridge to sort of hang over the washing machine, which saves up a lot of space, especially since I had this little corner anyway, because that's where the narrow kitchen door used to be. The washing machine was supposed to be in a cupboard as well, but it turned out there aren't any washing machines narrow enough to fit. <laughs> As you can see in this footage, I am so helpful. My dad also ended up making window sills because I wanted them to look as closely to the original as possible and he was up for the challenge. So I was like, okay, if you want to, why not? Here's the curtains. <laughs> They're uh, good quality, uh, really long and really wrinkly as well. So I need to iron them. I don't have an iron, so good luck <laughs> but but since the curtain rails are not there anymore uh these are probably gonna wait for a while flat update <laughs> here's the hallway i put up some 19th century things what the hell are they called that i got from my friend there we got the hanger here is the intercom or whatever it's called the wallpaper is done but for this wall which i completely underestimated also i don't know why it looks like the wallpaper is so uneven when you compare these two on camera it actually looks pretty even in real life but anyway here is the internet cable bless them for that i really needed that here is uh, something that i should have put in the basement but i'm actually still using it and it looks kind of cute 
cute <laughs> but i'm not leaving this here moving on to the bedroom the the bed really comfy a plus ikea mattress uh vestmark the boudoir area <laughs> temporarily surrounded by white it's not gonna be like that this is also kind of temporary but also really comfy so i might leave it uh the wallpaper is missing i'm still waiting for the window sills to be done and the window sills are currently in this sorry state so it is what it is here is a corner of things that don't have their places yet here are all the things that i need to hang on the walls but i haven't yet so yeah that's like a waiting area moving on here is the chairs and the temporary table that was already in in the kitchen here when i bought the flat i don't have a nice table yet and also the chairs are in a sorry state here are the curtains that i can't hang because i i do not know how to use a drill <laughs> i've tried I tried my best and it it overcame me so I'm not doing that. Here is a pile of trash that I need to get rid of because it's like all packaging from the stuff that I ordered. This area is kind of nice, like not gonna lie, it's nice to chill. Yeah, this is the trash room. <laughs> Here is the trash that will not fit into my bins uh, at the moment. So I'm waiting for someone to like empty them. Here is like the working area with all the stuff that needs to be done still uh, and like leftovers. And uh, here is a lamp for this room, which was by the way, so heavy, like, like I did not expect it to actually be that heavy like I thought they were listing the color of metal but no it's actually metal like the whole chandelier is like Jesus Christ it's so heavy like I'm gonna have to put it up really securely and I think it also needs a rewiring because it's so old but yeah it's gonna be right here so that's exciting and then these two chairs are actually the chairs uh, from the other room that have been renovated by someone but they stripped it from like the nice color so I don't really like that and also they don't fit into that room so they're just being stored here in the trashy room and then the kitchen the kitchen is honestly at this point probably the most put together room in the house here is the oven here is the thingy i bought this spi spice rack on etsy the other day and i think i'm gonna have to hang it around here but because I don't know what's going here yet, I just keep it like that because I don't want to put it in the wrong place and then end up having a hole in the wall. And then here is my decorations. Yep, that happened. Washing machine is here and also the fridge. Oh, I almost dropped the phone. Uh, the fridge, which is uh, also quite nice. Obviously the basic of Polish cuisine and cuisine just worldwide. The bathroom is also kind of unchanged from what I remember. I covered the walls in like a waterproof paint that is transparent so we can't really tell but it's to prevent the wall from getting damp. And yeah, that's still the temporary um, sink cupboard so I'm working on that. That's all. So I just found this inside my door. I'm gonna show you. It was right here. I'm 90% sure it's like an old ticket. Okay, so according from According to my research, this is like a 1960s ticket or maybe late 60s, early 70s. I think at this point the toilet room is more or less finished and I could present it to you. I honestly wish I had a glow up as big as I think this tiny toilet had. I do not remember what that is. I think it's one of the... Hmm. No, actually I don't know. I think this is like the trivet. I am really confused. I don't remember ordering this one. I thought it's a different color. Okay, so it actually looked like that on the photo, which doesn't show that much on camera, but on the picture, it's like literally light green. There is, there is no way this is the same one. Like, who took these photos? This looks light green at best. This is not even close. Ah, damn it! So I wanted to sort out the baseboard situation, but the walls... Let me show you. This is just some random piece of baseboard, right? Bruh! Oh, the wall is so uneven. It's not the board. It's just the wall. Oh, how am I going to do this? 
One of the last works that had to be done were two of the remaining windowsills and a fake chimney wall. Now, the wall wasn't really anything urgent, but since I was asking workers for help anyway, I thought they might as well do it while they're at it. So in literally a day, the whole flat was turned upside down again and it looked like hell. And I felt like I went back months. But when it was finished, it looked pretty nice. And I had to paint around the window sills, which was a bit difficult in the living room, or I actually had to use the vibrant paint first and then cover it with one layer of the pastel paint, because otherwise the shade just wasn't the same and it showed. I also bought this metal plate for the kitchen door to match the other door, though to be honest it doesn't really show because the door is usually open in a way. Update time. Not much have changed. I have the see-through curtains, which actually add a lot to the bedroom feel of this room. I feel like it was a good choice to make them so long because it automatically feels so cozy in here. The lamp is also here, the one that used to be in the living room, but the rest is still a mess. I still haven't ordered the <laughs> built-in wardrobe. Uh, I'm kind of procrastinating doing that. The living room is probably the room that has undergone the most changes since the last update because there is a chimney wall and I'm so excited about it. It looks so good. And there is the Ikea mirror and it's still missing a little shelf in between the fireplace and the mirror. That's why the mirror is so high. But overall, I mean, it is a look. It also brought out so much, like in the lights, you know, like they make so much more sense now. <laughs> I added the living room lamp decoration, uh, even though I still don't have a lamp because I actually did order it, but they messed up the delivery and I got <laughs> a brooch instead. So I'm still waiting for them to fix that up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The kitchen is still unchanged, I think from the last time. Oh wait, I actually got some nice things. Check out this gorgeous hen. Like you can keep your eggs here. It's so cool. And then I also have, I think it's from the same brand, garlic store. And you can actually grate the garlic using this. So I'm a sucker for everything thing that looks old in English. So I got this and from the very same brand, I also got, where are you? <laughs> oh yeah, this. Uh, from the same brand, I also got like a measuring bowl and some more measuring cups. I don't cook. I don't know why I bought this. Like I, I am baking anything in like a hundred years, but it's so cute. Oh, and I also got this. This is so cute. I got this second hand. You can hang your towels on the bottom. It's like a tiny kitchen. It also has like a, what I'm assuming is Chinese calendar. <laughs> There's some Chinese letters on it. Uh, I cannot hang this though, because I wanted to hang this on this wall, this one right here. And I forgot it's concrete. So I can't really put nails on it or anything. And I don't want to drill it in case I want to change the layout. So I'm probably going to have to use one of those tapes that are like super strong. The bathroom is pretty much the same as it was, but it now has a laundry basket that fits perfectly in this little corner right here. It's literally the same measurement. I'm quite pleased, even though when I do order a cupboard, it's probably going to be right here. So it's not going to be fitting that well anymore, but for now it will do. It was also quite cheap, so. And then the yellow room is, um, it's kind of a storage workshop room right now. Like it's, it's it's disgusting. So yeah, that is the update and uh, hopefully next time I do one of these something will change. But yeah, it's getting pretty comfy here. Also, I have used the fireplace and it's just so nice. <laughs> it's one of the best ideas I had regarding this flat. So that's it for now, but stay tuned for more flat updates. See ya! Ooh.